Hey there, Paper Geeks and Glitter Nerds, it's Zenny, the Crazy Geek Crafter, and this is the last project before the new year. I was a bit at loss for what to uh, to make for this project, but then I got an email from Gerda Steiner Designs, and they had made this very cute uh, image, which was free and uh, a printable, so I didn't need to wait for it. I could just download it and print it out and get coloring, which is what I did. So I'm gonna leave you with the coloring here because that part I really can't teach you much other than what you see. But I will be back to tell you what I did next.
I left the uh, damage to dry for a few hours and then I came back to glitter it up uh, with this uh, Nouveau glitter drop in uh, purple. And it was a bit tedious to do, but I think the result was very, very nice. And since the purple combination that I used for the numbers weren't the best, um, this covered up that very nicely. I made the mistake of not die cutting this panel before I put on the uh, glitter drops so I'm gonna have to trim it by hand instead. Um, I'll lose the very nice stitching detail but that's okay. I did uh, use a die to draw around the image so I uh, got the right proportions uh, compared to the card base and then I elongated the lines so that it was easier to cut it with my trimmer. After seeing it on the uh, card base, I decided that it was still too big, so I uh, decided to... First I thought I was gonna take it in uh, a centimeter on each side, but it's not gonna work. So I'm scaling that down to half a centimeter and that worked out quite well. I have a plan for what I'm gonna put behind this panel, um, and I wanted it to show uh, more than just a few uh, millimeters. Now my plan was this material here, it's called Sisso Web. I inherited it and I uh, looked it up online. Uh, I normally know it from decorating tables, using it for table runners and stuff. Uh, but it actually gives a nice hue to the white uh, card base behind the panel. And the 
color matched very nicely with the combination of my alcohol markers and the Nuva drops. <laughs> I'm sorry that my voice is going up and down today. I think I am maybe getting a cold. Well, uh, I wanted some foam tape on the back of this panel, but I was unsure whether it should be on the panel or on the web. So I decided to glue the web to the panel and then put the foam tape underneath. The problem with this is that, uh, that this web thing is it's really hard to adhere to anything. So I got up my red tape just to be sure that it wasn't going anywhere. And to place it, I uh, hold it onto the card base with uh, a few pegs. It is a tiny bit too big for the uh, card base. I did that on purpose so that I can trim off any excess uh, web. But it does make it a bit harder to line it up. The Nouveau glitter drops had escaped uh, the O a little bit and it made a, a shine mark. So I'm just sanding it off uh, to give it a nice finish. And uh, then I'm gonna trim off the excess web, like I talked about. And I got out the big scissors for that. It makes a nicer cut and it's easier to control. I did want to fit a sentiment on top of the uh, 2021, but I just couldn't find a good spot for it. Maybe I should have stamped it before I colored in the image, but then again, putting on the uh, glimmer drops would have been way harder around that scripty font and the heavy font would have been too much. It will cover up the image. So I went without it. I'm just gonna stick with the 2021 and then a few sequins. And this is my normal method of uh, scattering. I start out by just throwing the sequins on the card and see where they fall and if it's nice uh, to look at. And then I shift them around until I'm happy. I'm gonna glue them on with the uh, Ranger's multimedia mat. Um, it holds sequins very well and if it uh, escapes uh, on the card it doesn't leave a shiny mark. So that's good. And these sequins are actually the only decoration on this card. Um, I always wanted to color one of these New Year's images from Goethe Steiner, but uh, I just never had the time. I had other projects I had to get finished, but this year I had the time. And it was just perfect that it dropped in my inbox at the right second. Um, so here's the card. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have enjoyed uh, all the videos I've made this year. I can't wait to return next year with a lot of new projects. And until then, I hope you'll be having a good day, evening or night and Happy New Year.